What is so funny? Oh, uh, uh, nothing, Mr. Lightyear. Um, oh. Ahem, <clears throat> there. That's much better. Me too. This is serious business, Potato Buzz. We're lucky that I was able to find you among all of those planets. And we are very lucky we were able to locate the shuttle. NASA wouldn't have been too happy about that. NASA? Yes, NASA. It's a government agency in charge of the United States space program. Wow. I still can't believe you took off to space all by yourself. But since we're here, how about I teach you about our solar system? Well, what's a solar system? Well, it's a planetary system, which means it is a star with planets orbiting around it, which means they are circling it. Our planet orbits or goes around the sun. The sun is a star? <laughs> why, yes. It is also why we have day and night, because we are constantly moving around it. And it is the most important source of energy for life on Earth. So how many planets are in our solar system? Well, there are eight that we know of. I can show you while we're traveling through space. That would be awesome, Mr. Buzz Lightyear. Look, there's Neptune. Neptune. Neptune is the farthest known planet from the sun. In fact, it is about 2.8 billion miles away from the sun. It is made up mostly of an icy liquid of water and gas. Gas? Isn't that when- Stop. Whoa! Now that is some strong wind. Did I mention that Neptune is also the windiest planet? Let's go, little vegetable buzz. We'd better get out of here. Next on our journey is Uranus. Uh, don't you mean Uranus? No. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It is about 1.8 billion miles away from it. Like Neptune, it is also made up of a gassy, icy liquid. Those rings you see around it are made up of mostly ice, and we can only see them because we are so close. They cannot be seen by a normal telescope. Well, why not? Well, because they just aren't big enough yet. They are fairly new compared to other things in space. Oh! One day, at the very northern top of Uranus, last 84 years. 42 years of light, followed by 42 years of darkness. Imagine waiting for that lunch break to get here. <laughs> Moving on. The next planet we come to is Saturn. My mom used to drive a Saturn. That was a car. This is a planet. As I was saying, Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. It is about 886 million miles away from it. It is made up mostly of the gases hydrogen and helium. The rings that circle it are made up of mostly ice and rock. Helium? Like what makes balloons float? Yes. That's Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. It is about 484 million miles away from the sun, and the fifth planet away from it. Jupiter is another gas planet. You said gas planet. <laughs> <sighs> so far, the planets that we have passed are made of mostly gas. So they are known as gas planets or gas giants. Because they are so big, there are four of these gas giants, and now we have seen them all. Jupiter is also known for its swirling cloud stripes. If that were a candy, I'd eat it. Swirling cloud. <clears throat> Sorry. Ooh, it's red. Does that mean it's hot? No. Actually, it is quite cold. This is Mars. Mars is nicknamed the Red Planet. It is the fourth planet from the Sun, and it's about 142 million miles away from it. It is a rocky planet covered in red dust. Dust is kind of like dirt. I do love dirt. That's great. 
Onward we go. <gasps> it's beautiful. Small vegetable buzz, we've made it to Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. We, I mean Earth, is about 93 million miles away from it. It is the only planet in our solar system that can sustain life. What's sustain? Well, it means it can support and keep life. It is another rocky planet, but its surface has lots of water and the air has oxygen. Those are some of the things that potatoes and space rangers need in order to live. I love life. Me too, little Buzz. Me too. That is why we will look at the next two planets from a distance. From a distance. Oh, really? Never mind. Seriously, young tot. They're much closer to the sun. I don't think Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head would like it if I brought them back a baked potato. Maybe if you send me with some sour cream. <laughs> Do you see that bright circle way over there? Yes, it looks like a little sun. Actually, that is Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is about 67 million miles away from it. And even though it isn't the closest, it is the hottest. This is because of all of the carbon dioxide. It traps heat inside its atmosphere. It's hotter than an oven. One big rocky oven. Scary. That's right. Finally, if you look that way, you'll see Mercury. It looks little. Well, it is the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the sun. It is about 36 million miles away from it. Mercury has extreme temperature changes because it has a weak atmosphere and can't hold in heat. During the day, it's hotter than an oven, but then at night, it's colder than the coldest freezer. It is also a rocky planet. In fact, it is one of the four planets that make up what are known as the terrestrial planets. Terrestrial? What are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing. As I was saying, terrestrial planets are planets made mostly of rock. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the four terrestrial planets. Do you remember which planets are the gas planets? Um, Jupiter? Mm-hmm. Uh, Saturn? Yes. Hmm. Uranus? Right. And... Neptune! Yes! Golly space comets! I can't believe it! You did hear me! Heard you do what? Oh... <sighs> there are lots and lots and lots and lots of other planets and planetary systems way beyond our solar system. That's a lesson for another day, though. But that completes our solar system. But... but... But what about the moon? Isn't it a planet? No. The moon is a moon. There are actually many moons in our solar system, most belonging to other planets. You see, our moon rotates around the Earth, not the sun. Wherever the Earth goes, the moon goes. Kind of like a puppy that follows you around. Puppies only want to chew on me. Well, you are a toy. And a potato. Oh no! I believe we are running out of fuel. We'd better get you back home soon. Hold on, little tater. I believe we're going to have to make an emergency landing. To infinity and beyond! Well, to Earth. That was a close one. Are you okay, Small Buzz? Small Buzz? Little Potato? Sidekick Buzz! No! Um, 
Mr. Buzz Lightyear? Are you okay? Uh, um, uh, 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 what happened? We went falling with style. Uh, I mean, I couldn't find you. I thought... Oh. Well, I saw the dog, and then I saw a box of treats. So then I decided to go get some treats, and uh, I threw a treat to the dog. Never mind. Thank you for teaching me so much, Mr. Lightyear. You're very welcome. But you can call me Buzz. Now... Let's get you home, kid. 